Hi guys, so this is Muskan and today again I am back with a very important question and a comparatively easy question and the question is a valid anagram. So this is a lead code 242. So basically I'll just quickly explain that what the question exactly is. Okay. So in this question we have been basically given two strings and we have to tell whether both the strings are anagrams of each other or not. Okay. So, for those of you who do not know what an anagram is, basically an anagram is that uh, like all the characters in string 1 should be present in string 2 and it should not be necessarily in the same order. For example, I am writing, for example, I am writing anagram. So, the string S is A-N-A-G-R-A-M and in string 2, all the words that is a n a g r a m should be present but they can be jumbled so this is a very simple definition of an anagram so yes two strings would be given to us and we have to tell whether those are an anagram to each other or not yes so here if you see the example that is given in a lead code so you will see that S is given that is anagram and T is given that is N A G A R A M. You see that all the characters that are present in string S are also there in string T. Okay. And hence both the strings are anagram to each other. And in return, you have to return a Boolean value that is either true or false. So here both the strings are anagram to each other. So you return true. Okay. Moving on to the second example. So, in second example, we have been given string S, that is R, A, T, and we have been given string T, that is C, A, R. We see is R is present, yes, R is present, then A is present, A is present, but T, T is not present. So, we just say that both the strings are not anagrams to each other. And apart from that, it is not necessary that, for example, if it was, suppose string S is R, A, T, and string, suppose string S, E, Suppose string S is R A T and the second string that is string T is R A T S. Okay, so now also they're not anagrams to each other in, despite the fact that all the letters in string S are present in string T but we cannot say that it is anagram to each other. The letter should be exactly similar. So now in easier terms I can say that the length of string 1 should be exactly similar to string 2. If the length is uh, not similar, then it is directly we can say that both the strings are not anagrams to each other. Only if the lengths are similar, then we will go to second step of checking the characters, if the characters are equal or not. Okay, so I will just quickly explain that how will we go about the coding part. For example, here it is anagram. So here, what do you have to do basically? So you have to count the characters and you have to store all the characters somewhere so that when you are in string 2 or string t as it is given here you can keep a check so first of all what you what you can do is you can store all the characters of string s somewhere and then you can keep checking like then you can iterate over string 2 and you can keep checking whether this whether the character at that particular index in string t is the back of all the letters for example here a will come then n will come Okay, and here right now A is 1, then here A will be 1, 2, 3. Here A will be 3. Okay, then N will be, as I can see, there is only 1 N. So, N will be 1. Okay, then A we have counted, then G will be 1, R will be 1, and M will be 1. G will be 1, R will be 1, and I will just write here m will be 1 okay so this is when we have iterated through all the letters in string s and we have stored it in a hash map simply no complicated things we are simply storing all the letters and the frequency of those letters in a hash map okay and then what we will do is we have to check 
if all the characters in string s are present in string t and no extra characters are also there so what we will do is we will just iterate through the entire string string t and as we know that only the number of character matters and the order of characters does it matter so what we will do is we will simply decrease the count for example if we like we will start iterating through string t then we come across n so what i will do is i will just decrease the frequency in the hash map from, from so what will i do is i will just decrease the frequency of n in our hash map so the frequency of n was one so i came across one so i will just decrease the frequency to zero then i came across a single a so i will just decrease the frequency to 2 then i came across g so what will i do is i will just decrease the frequency of g to 0 then i came across a again so i will just decrease the frequency to 1 okay then i came across r then a then m so r i will just decrease the frequency then a again so i will just decrease the frequency to 0 and then in the last i have come across m so i will just decrease the frequency of m to 0 so now you see that all the characters have frequency 0 even if there was a single extra character for example if i take r a t rat so even if i take r a t rat example and first of all because i am storing it in a hash map so the frequency of all the letters would be 1 because all the letters are appearing once okay so r a t would be 1 then we will go through car so c is not there so if c is not there in the first uh, like when when we are checking for zeroth index only it will return false but suppose it was a r c so it will check for a then this is zero then r then it is zero and then we see that c c is not present only so we will just uh, do like we will just return false from here we will just come out of the loop okay and suppose if it was an example suppose r a t was there and suppose my string t was r a t s okay r a t s so we don't have to check this much also like initially when we will check for the length the length for this will be 3 and this will be 4 okay so initially only we will return false so the first and the basic step should be that we have to check for the length that can be your edge case okay so okay so the first step would be to check the length if the length is not equal from there only you can return false otherwise if the lengths are equal then only you will start storing the letters of first string in the hash map and then check for the other string okay so just let me quickly explain you the code so as i told you i've taken a map and as we are storing character and integer character and its frequency that will be an integer so i have just taken an unordered map and why we have taken an, an unordered map because here the order doesn't matter what we want is the count of each and every element that is there okay and then as i told you that we are going to calculate the length of s and t so here i've calculated the lengths then we see that if length 1 is not equal to length 2 we will simply return false as i explained it to you that in this particular case if it was rat and rats the length was 3 and it here it is 4 so we will simply return false so this is our first case if lengths are not equal in no way it can be an anagram okay so we will simply return false otherwise what was the next step that i told you that if lengths are equal then we will now store the letters of first string into an hash map so similarly i did the same thing so here you can write length 1 or length 2 since both are equal so i found that okay length 1 is not equal to length 2 so i have uh, length i'm sorry i found that length 1 is equal to length 2 therefore i started storing the elements of our string 1 in our hash map okay so here i've stored all the elements and now what am i doing is that i am iterating through string 2 and here i've written length 2 you can write length 2 all like i've written length 1 you can write length 2 as well so here i have i'm starting to iterate to the second string okay so now i will just explain what is happening here so suppose i have stored this so this i have stored now it will check map at t at i what does it mean is t at index 0 that map at n 
so what is map at n map at n is 1 okay so we will just decrease map at n so we will just decrease the frequency similarly we keep come at a so map at a what is map at a map at a because this is the key so what is the value but the initial value was 3 so i will just decrease the frequency and similarly i will and similarly as i told you this was a dry run that i showed you similarly we will iterate through the entire string and keep decreasing the value of the frequency as we move ahead in the string okay so now in the in the next step what i told you how were we going to check that whether whatever now it it is an anagram or it is not an anagram i told you if there is even a single letter that is not visited or if there is even a single letter that is extra in our string t that is not there in string s then we will simply return false from there so i have done the same thing i have started iterating through the map and we are checking that for if for any single letter the the frequency is not zero because if it was an anagram all the letters will cancel the letters all the letters in string s will definitely cancel all the letters in string t obviously because the frequency the number of times they are occurring is same the, just the order is different okay so we will just uh, like we will check that if at any position map at i is not equal to 0 that is the frequency is not equal to 0 we will simply return false otherwise we have iterated through the entire map and and there is not even a single position where this condition is satisfied so we will simply return true so i think this was a pretty simple question i hope you understood it and if you have any doubts just put it in the comment section below thank you